Hi everyone, welcome to Zynet's session on open seats across India for NEET PG 2025. We'll look at how to look at closing ranks for open seats in Zynet as well in this session. First, we'll have a quick brief on what are the open seats, what, are the, what does the term open seats mean? Uh, first, uh, you will be eligible for government institute seats or government quota seats or a set of seats within government and private institutes, etc. in your home state. That is very clear. A home state here means maybe maybe on MBBS or based on domicile which is under Supreme Court uh, directions, uh, uh, there is a challenge on that too, or based on schooling or a lot of other factors like parents' employment, etc. Based on this, you will have a home state criteria where you will be eligible for the 50% government institute seats or the some of the private institute seats. In some states, private institutes have lower fees also available only for home state candidates. Some states are not open, those states will only have those for uh, the state candidates. But there are certain states which will allow a percentage of private institute seats, not government institute seats. I am the state of Karnataka. I might allow, allow a percentage of private institute or private university seats for all candidates across India, domicile free. There is no domicile criteria required, no schooling required, etc. Everybody who is NEET PG qualified can at apply for those seats. They might be at a fee structure which is defined by me. Karnataka has such seats which are under two different fee structures, open and others. Tamil Nadu is under management quota, a separate council has management quota which is a separate counselling for such seats. Uttar Pradesh has all and Bihar have all the private institute seats under open category which means oh, as open seats which means every candidate across India is eligible. But note that they are under different state counsellings. The state private institutes are only called as open seats. Open seats is not an official term, it is an unofficial term used in the counselling parlance. But usually referring to this set of seats. Deemed university seats are also open. They are available under All India Counselling. That is a separate thing. We are not looking at that now. We are currently looking at seats that are available or allotted on an All India basis without any domicile requirement in state counsellings. If it is in state counsellings, how do you look at it? I have to go to each state counselling and then look at the information. Zaina does one, fil one counselling filter where you filter and look at all the open seats across India but it will have 14 different states information let us say. You will have to go and apply for each of those states if you want all the 14 states uh, uh, eligibility. It's like let us say the, you uh, look at the entire open seats counselling and see, uh, states counselling and then you see that there are open seats available in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar etc. where you want to go and opt for those seats. You will have to apply for each counselling separately. Only then you will have the option, you will you'll be able to fill in options for each of those seats and within that be allotted. We wouldn't suggest you to go for 14 states or all the open seats, whatever is in your rank, rank range, where you have an option available and that is feasible, then go for it. Limit it to a few to the extent possible because it is difficult to manage 14 counsellings plus your home state counselling. But if you are able to do it, your call. Don't put it for just for the sake of it. Decide it earlier itself and be very clear that I am going for this open state. Now we will look at priority. Uh, there are also states which will allow you only from round 2. For instance, Madhya Pradesh will ask you to register before round 1 but will allow you to fill choices only from round 2 and they will allot you only after the Madhya Pradesh domicile or Madhya Pradesh MBBS candidates are allotted. Similarly, Chhattisgarh will allow to, allot you only after Chhattisgarh MBBS, Chhattisgarh domicile are allotted and they might even give you a government seat like preclinicals which nobody else opts for. Punjab might have that option. So, don't expect government seats but even if you expect don't expect it to be clinicals usually that you can check for last year's data as well usually only private seats very rarely one or two preclinicals or my maybe one paraclinical somewhere might have been allotted to other state candidates as open seat because balance seats were available after everybody in the state was allotted now with that as a background we'll go into how to look at closing ranks of open states if you have any open, open states or open counselings the seats are called open seats and the counseling uh, and the states that offer them are called open states. Uh, we will just look at insight, click on insights and go to closing ranks. When you go to closing ranks, you will see this at the top, open states, private institute seats available for all candidates. You click on that and that will list out every seat that was allotted last year on an all India basis under multiple counselings. You will see the counselling over here, Uttarakhand, Telangana, Haryana, etc. and where they were allotted. Ignore this entire part of 
sorted order because each one of them is sorted by the state rank. Right now move to all India rank because the state merit list is not available. By default move to all India rank and then start the filtering out process. Now I want MD pediatrics and I let us take MS orthopedics. I want MS orthopedics. I want it in any of these institutes that is fine. I am not looking at any specific institute specific thing. I want it in any particular counseling. I am only interested in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, etc. I can either filter out on a state or on a particular counseling. Let us say I am interested only in North Indian states. I will look at Uttar Pradesh. Maharashtra is not there because Maharashtra is not an open state. You will have the list of open states here itself which will be listed down and you, you can filter out on what you want. I am only interested in Bihar, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. Punjab, Rajasthan, etc. I am not interested in the other states, uh, which are with the southern states, etc. So I will filter it out on these and I will look at the closing ranks of previous years. Here you will see 2023 and 2024. You can filter further on 2024 and we would suggest you to filter on round 1, 2, 3 alone. That is to start with. 0 is a mock round in Karnataka, you can ignore it. 3.5 are intermediate rounds, which are in some states, you can ignore it for now. Go with 2024 round 1, 2 and 3. Once you look at this information, you will be able to see at what fee range seats were available and until what rank range that seat was available. DMC Ludhiana, which is an open seat, was ava is available at 6.5 lakhs, but it was clo it closed at around 11,000 rank range, all India rank range. You might be able to apply for this open seats, orthopedic seats in DMC Ludhiana in Punjab, but you should have been within 11,000 rank for you to get it. This is an excellent seat because the fee structure is very less. Similarly, as you move on, you will see a lot of seats which are available, which closed earlier than 55,000, but and the fee structure of those seats. If I want to filter out and say, I clearly want something which is at a less than 30 lakh fee structure, you can also do that. And it will give you, it will remove all those uh, seats which are, which went in above five, uh, 30 lakhs and filter out and tell you these are the seats that are available below 30 lakhs. You want to sort it out based on the fee. You can, can sort it out on the fee, based on the fee from low to high and you can see at what rank ranges it was available. Now this will give you information on all the seats and I am saying okay these are the seats that I am interested in. But where all was it available? Here. But what is my rank range? My rank range is 40,000 and above. My rank range is 50,000. So I will not be able to get a seat which went on at 40,000. I will filter out further. Let us say my rank range is 70,000. I am looking at 70,000 or above only. I will start maybe at 60,000. Because anything below 50,000 I might not have gotten last year. To refer, I will take 60,000 because my rank range is 70,000. A lot of filters have happened and you have 15 records over here. You can see that UP seats were available. Bihar seats were available in no other state. At a fee structure that you defined as below 30 lakhs, seats were available. Now UP, Bihar, you have the seats available and they went in at this rank range. So you might have an opportunity. What will I do? I will have to go to apply in UP and Bihar after knowing the rules, when I can apply, how I can apply, etc. UP, Bihar, you will also get the fee, hostel fee, remarks, mode of payment, whether there is a bond, what is the stipend that you get, etc. All these information you will get from this particular uh, from by clicking on the institute itself. If there is an asterisk mark here, please click so that the remarks are available on the uh, next page and you will be able to see if there is an additional fee, etc. Some of the institutes might ask for a hidden fee. You will have to check that as well. If it is, let us say, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, there is a hidden fee related issue. You will have to check that as well. Let us say, I am I'm, I'm in the category of 20,000 plus rank range, but still I am going for private seats. I will click on view results and it will give me the list of private seat options which are, avail which are available about 20,000, but within 30 lakh fee range and that is in multiple, if it is in multiple states, then I will be able to, Haryana is there, Punjab is there. So let me go and check those institutes and if I want to apply till, go on till round 3, I can decide. Like Punjab, there was one seat which was available at 14.9 lakhs. So I go and click, don't miss this out. Because under the remarks, it clearly says, note that the fee is subject to court order of Punjab. There is a lower fee structure. Adesh mentions that there will be a higher fee structure. In addition, 1.5 lakhs, one point refundable security deposit has to be paid and 15% of union university charges has to be paid in additional for three years. 
So that is a huge amount, possibly taking it to another 5 lakhs. So don't miss this out. The tuition fee might be here, the hostel fee might be added and take into account all the information and then take a call as far as open seats are concerned. You go to Tamil Nadu similarly, I am not filtering it out on rank range or uh, fee structure. I am filtering out one day on this and I want to check Tamil Nadu. I will go filter it out on Tamil Nadu. Within the options that I have, I have these seats which are available and within that I will be able to see that some institutes may, may, may ask for an additional fee of 5 lakhs to 12 lakhs per annum. Please note that there is a hidden fee. All this information is available. So don't miss out. This is available for every open seat across the country and that has been mapped easier for you and based on that you can decide on applying for multiple counselings. Instead of going to each counselling like there are uh, like uh, uh, one counseling each, Karnataka, etc, etc. You can go through one single uh, categorized counseling which is open states. But always understand that if you decide to go for two different state institutes over here, your options are available. Each counseling you have to apply separately. This is only a clubbing that we have done to help you out. This hopefully helps and if you have any queries on how to look at data, you can always call us. Please take time of one or two days. Don't leave Zynerd because the data is not good. Somebody tells you that it is not good. So many candidates have used it and benefited. That is why they referred it to you. Please don't go away because there are few remarks saying that uh, the app is not clear, the structure is not good, etc. We have structured it out in a way that it will all comprehensive information is available and we'll be updating information throughout the process which will help you take decisions between counselings and there are multiple tools that are available but that needs an effort from your end for you to be for someone to analyze it to you etc etc they usually charge around 25 to 50k if you are able to put in that two days of effort to understand the system it becomes very simple please do that if you are a subscriber especially before moving out call us up we'll help you out on how to look at the data use the data and benefit out of the data along with the notifications call support videos strategy related discussions etc you will definitely get value for your subscription thanks a lot for watching if you have any queries call us thank you